starting in this session of the General Assembly, we're going to do our budgeting in a different way. We have found fault with how we do budget making. And we're going to move to a system called budgeting for outcome. And here, let's give credit, Representative Neckritz, Representative Sente, Representative Jack Franks. That's in place as we go forward. So we've done a lot, but as always, we have more to do. We have more to do in the area of education. We have to work to provide for a better performance by the educational system in general and by the teachers that work inside of that educational system. And clearly the time has come once and for all to change the Illinois law so that incompetent teachers can be taken out of the classroom. In the post-election session, we tried to bring down the cost in the workers' compensation system. Give credit to Representative John Bradley for the great work that he did. We did not accomplish our goal, but we're not finished. We're coming back next session, and we're going to work as hard as we possibly can to recognize that this is a system that needs change. We need to bring down the cost so that Illinois is no longer the second most costly state in the nation in workers' compensation costs. We have to learn to live within our means. We cannot backtrack on those changes that we made in the Medicaid system. We cannot backtrack on those changes we made in the pension systems. And that's going to require courage. That's going to require people to say no when someone comes along and says, well, there's that section of the re Medicaid reforms that a little onerous, can't we change that? And then the bills are probably filed already where people are saying we have to repeal those pension law changes we did. You know, when those unions come around and say, oh, help my members. So we're going to need to have some courage and tell people no. And to that end, let me say again that the spending restraint put in the tax bill, mainly because of Representative Neckritz, will be a great help to us as we move through the next four years in terms of moderating the cost of state government and living within our means. In closing, let me simply say to the members of the House, let us all honor and respect the institution of the legislature. That's real easy for me to do because there's so much of my life that's been dedicated to the legislature. And the legislature has meant so much to me. But I say to all of you, you're a part of the institution. Honor, respect the institution, and always, always be an advocate for the role of the legislature as a co-equal branch of government. 